include everything. All right, guys. So last time what we did was we logged out all the users that didn't exist in our gitjson.done uh, function here. So this time what we're going to do are all the streams that are currently online. So what we're going to need to do for that is a similar for loop and then another git json call because this one's only going to work for the ones that succeed on the second chance. So we'll just go ahead and let's make sure we have our, our for loop correctly done. All right, so there it is that. And then we'll do a for loop here. So we'll say for var i is equal to zero, while i is less than following dot length, i plus plus. And currently right now there's one stream live, so uh, we'll know that this is working. Let's see, I did something wrong here. There we go. Uh, all right, so we set up our for loop. This time we're going to do a git JSON. And we're going to pass in another URL. And then we're going to run a function. And we'll call this data for. Now, let's go ahead and name this. We'll say var. Um, online URL equals um, set this equals to what do we want to set it equals to we want to set it equals to Set it equals to this plus following i. Let's change that. marks are the bane of my existence. All right, so we're going to pass in our online URL. And what we want to do is just do an if statement that says if uh, if data for dot status is not equal to null and data for dot air is not equal to true. Just want to make sure that we're not going to get error here. So basically, if it's not equal to null, they're currently online. So what we want to do is go ahead and set logo. We can go ahead and uh, do this one more time. We'll probably clean up our variables later on, but for the simplicity, we'll go ahead and just recreate them here. Um, reset them and we'll set var logo is equal to data actually what we can do right now is go ahead and pull it up real quick and look at what an online person would look like so here is the uh, a gentleman who's ESLC ESL underscore StarCraft 2 is currently streaming. So what do we need? We need the status. So how do we get to there? We call uh, dot stream, or excuse me, yeah, dot stream dot channel dot status dot display name and dot. So let's go logo first. We'll say data for dot stream dot where is our logo dot channel dot logo so before we move forward let's console dot log out our logo and make sure that we're getting that save that and let's go to console and we are not so 
let's see if this oh we need to put this to false uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this as well clear that all right let's do let's get rid of this comment this out comment this out save okay so it's getting our logo right there all right so we can do it without this uh, if statement cool um, I was trying to follow a similar pattern my mistake there but because we're doing a git JSON and we're getting we're not having any issues at all we can do it like this so this is going to return all the online stuff so here's our logo for the ESL start craft to so all we have to do is set status here and we'll set that to data for dot stream dot channel dot status and let's go ahead and console.log status here as well it's always good to check your code as you go along uh, European Premier League perfect all right so everything's going according to plan so we have our name is equal to data for dot stream dot channel dot display I believe it's underscore name yep alright so we have our name now all we have to do here is just prepend exactly how we did before so we're gonna be uh, copying quite a bit of code um, maybe it would have been better to do functions and go through that uh, definitely um, something to think about if you're going and cleaning this up so all we have to do here is got take our follower info and prepend it in here and then here we go and then there is our ESL Starcraft 2 so now we have the one person that's currently online um, up next in the next video what we'll do is we'll do our final um, our final thing here and we will get all the guys that are offline because it does a little bit of a redirect and we have to actually do a different get JSON call because the info that we're doing we're looking for isn't located uh, in this specific section but as always guys uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video oh and thank you very much to I have two people that are on uh, patreon subs now and that's really cool so uh, thank you a ton guys I appreciate it hey guys thanks for watching the video my good friend Matt at engineered truth has a three-part interview with Quincy Larson the founder of free code camp go ahead and check that out and you'll get a lot of really cool stuff thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time